Hi everybody, my name's Carol Ford Johnston. I am a registered nurse for 33 years and a registered nurse tutor for 28. And I thought I'd do something really positive today and give you my four reasons why I love nursing and have stayed in our profession. I've got some notes here so don't forget. Um, first thing, working with people from all backgrounds, it's taught me so many life lessons about what's important in life, which is health and having a social network and not to make judgments about people. And I feel privileged as a nurse to have had people that have shared their life stories that have opened up to me. And I remember when I first started in nursing, I was 18. I um, started in a school of nursing and it was very hierarchical. We were very much a pair of hands. And I was tasked with, I can't remember if I was newly registered or a student, but I was tasked with looking after a lady who was homeless and um, she had knits and she had scabies. And because I was junior, it was very much my job to do. And I was thinking, oh, I was quite worried about doing it. Anyway, I popped her in the bath and for some reason I slipped or I dropped the soap and I slipped and we both burst out laughing and it broke the ice and she wouldn't talk to anybody in the area and but she talked to me after that and we developed this lovely relationship and I remember going in every day trying to do her hair and I'd always be the one that would help her um, wash and, and or have a bath and I remember going down to the day room with her one day and there was the piano and she suddenly got up and she played the most beautiful classical music. And it, I get tearful thinking about it, actually. And I remember all these doctors coming down and the physios and OT. And, um, you know, everyone had made all these. I hadn't. But people did make assumptions about her being this homeless lady. And in the 1980s, there was a lot more of that stereotype and, and labelling. And... Um, and it just shows that you should be kind, compassionate. You don't know. She'd tell me about her life story and she'd had an amazing life, which I won't go into, obviously. Um, and then on the same ward, I looked after somebody who was really affluent and again started to be labelled in some ways. Um, he lived in this massive manor house and, and I got to know him really well, using humour again and... But what was interesting was both of them had um, a dependency on alcohol, both had mental health issues, both were estranged from their families. And as this naive 18 year old, I mean, I wasn't that naive. I come from a real working class background, so I was used to hearing swearing and, and stuff like that. But um, it was just opened my eyes to life and these life lessons, which and um, which is something that nursing has given me throughout my career and something that I really enjoy hearing about people's life stories. So the second reason, the amount of career opportunities and the range of different roles, settings, fields of nursing, there's something for everybody. My career started off really badly in the 1980s and I um, failed my finals. So I started um, to realise during a pre-nursing course that nursing was for me. I always say nursing found me. I walked out of my A-levels. I said to my mum, I don't want to do my A-levels. And in the 1980s, there was no jobs. It was, it was very different to how it is nowadays. And I remember her saying, you've got to go out. We can't afford to keep you. You're not staying in bed all day with her Irish accent. And... Um, and so I was doing this pre-nursing course because my aunties came over in the 1960s to do nursing. So that's what I was going to, I'm being told I was going to do. There was no choice in the matter. And um, so I always say nursing found me because I did enjoy nursing and, and when I started it. But I failed my finals and then I went on and my career, I had all these opportunities later. It was very slow paced, my learning. And I realised that I, I became a team leader and a nursing sister, but I realised that my future lay in teaching and I had to do a degree when we moved to a degree profession and I paid for the degree modules myself, did it, plodded on doing odd modules here and there. I uh, managed to get my degree and then when I knew I wanted to do teaching I had to do a master's and a postgraduate diploma in education and managers started to pay because we started to get ed nurse education budgets so um, so that was amazing 
and now at 54, I'm 55 in September, at 54 I am doing my PhD and I'm in the middle of my PhD. Um, it's never too late and I am doing my PhD on nurse-patient interactions when nurses use electronic patient records and it's absolutely fascinating because when I started my um, nursing we didn't have mobiles, we didn't have computers, everything was on paper and I'm fascinated to see how computers um, affects, influences nurse-patient interaction on hospital wards so that's fascinating. And just to say, if anybody's out there who has failed a course or an assignment, um, keep going. I failed my finals. And if I hadn't carried on, I would never have progressed in nursing. And I've done a lot of writing and I've written two books as well as an author. So um, you can get that. And you might come to things later in life like I did. The third thing. Um, oh, hold on positive feedback and making a difference so using problem solving skills every day all nurses have to problem solve and you gain a sense in any role you gain a sense of achievement and um, having that feedback from um, a patient or a person that you're supporting you're trying to enable people to become independent and in any role as a nurse you gain that satisfaction and you get some positive you get you know it's challenging days absolutely the reality is it's, it's a hard job um but that sense of that you're achieving goals and helping supporting people and you get a thank you which makes such a difference to nurses and um to me nowadays a lot of it's with students so you know i'll get um i'll see students that might have failed an assignment or somebody that's struggling with something at work and and i'm trying to support them and then I'll see a student maybe a few years later that's now a ward manager and that's amazing and that gives me a sense of achievement that I've sort of supported them on their journey however small whatever I did um, and then the fourth thing is dynamic nature of nursing so I could never have worked in an office um, it's you're doing um, every day is different and um, so that so that dynamic nature of going in and not knowing what's going to happen that day, um, you know, and who you're going to be caring for and supporting. You've also got um, teams that you work with and you've got different people. So you're always meeting different people. And I love that. I like that dynamic nature of nursing as well. So that's my four reasons. So if you're a nurse out there, give your four reasons in the comments in YouTube. And I hope you all have a lovely day.